welcome back to Mickey Cook Beauty. And today we will be trying on some new lipsticks that I got in the mail, the new Makeup by Mario, some Givenchy lipsticks, and some Chanel lipsticks. And I'll do some, be doing some comparison swatching as well. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Today I wanted to try on and swatch some lipsticks that I recently got in the mail. And these are the new release by Makeup by Mario. This is the first time I'm trying this brand. And I bought this at Sephora and it launched, I think about a week ago. So they are a matte lipstick and I generally favor matte lipsticks, but I don't like the drying part. So I was really intrigued by this formula. So we'll try out uh, the colors Nikki, Lucia, and Cam. And the cool thing what I read about this is that I think these are named after people that helped him start in his business when he was first starting out. So each color is kind of dedicated to someone in his life. So that's really pretty awesome. Then we'll be trying the Givenchy lipsticks. I have two from the holiday collection and I just love the formula. So I wanted to try two more. Uh, I want, we're trying 35 Rouge Init, I-N-I-T-E, Rouge Inite. It's a, this color and then trying um, number 27 Rouge Infuse. So one is a darker kind of orange and then this is more of a berry tone. And then I also picked up some Chanel lipsticks. So these are in the Rouge Alec Allure formula. I got number 62 still and 61 continuous. So why don't we start with, I don't have any color on my lips. This is just my natural pigment. And what I find challenging with my lipstick um, hunts is that I, because I have, you can see here that I have a darker uh, outer lining here. And so it's hard with for me to find lipstick that can cover up that and actually cover up the actual pigmentation for my natural lip lining. Why don't we start with the Makeup by Mario? Because this is the one I'm really excited about because I haven't tried this formula yet. So I've got three colors. And this is at Sephora, and I'll leave the cost of how much these are, I think, about under $30. And there's a variety of colors and really, really kind of really on-trend colors, kind of nudes and a muted, muted kind of every your nude color, but better. Uh, Makeup by Mario, as some of you know, he is a makeup artist that became very popular because he worked with Kim Kardashian. Uh, now, I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian, um, but... I think when there's talent of a makeup artist, it, it really shows. And so he became famous in really creating the look that she has. And so I wanted to try these. So why don't we go ahead and open these? The packaging is really lovely. It's a black matte with white raised lettering. Uh, very classy. I like it. The lips has a raised as well. I think these might be made in the United States. And from what I can see, this is an 18 month shelf life. So. Right off the bat, I can see the packaging is really nice. It's a kind of like a matte, creamy white or gray white. So by Mario, very nice, sleek, modern packaging. And this is the color cam. So it's much brighter than I thought it'd be. So we'll try that out. This is cam. This is Lucia. Let's go in dusty pink. And this is Nikki. Okay, this is Cam. Lucia. And Nikki. So this one's kind of like a orangey nude a berry pink and I don't know what color that would be. It's like a red, reddish pink peach, at least on my skin tone. Okay, so we'll start with the first one, Cam. This is Cam. Okay. 
Okay, we'll see how far I can get with these. I'm using the deep cleansing oil to gently remove some of the lipstick. Some of you are new to my channel, so I have to say my favorite thing for makeup, it vacillates between putting on bronzer and lipstick, but I would have to say still lipsticks are still my favorite thing of makeup just because that was the first makeup product I ever tried was lipstick. So I love, love lipstick. And so in the past, um, you know, almost two years, it's been really hard for me because if there's one thing that I won't leave the house with is like without lip balm or some lip product on my lips and we've just been wearing masks. So, uh, but it doesn't stop me from enjoying my lipstick. So uh, my first love is probably lipsticks and then bronzer. And so we're gonna go into Lucia next. Lucia. And the last one we'll try is Nikki. So again, these are matte, you know, I've, I probably have probably should have done a lip scrub before I tried any of these on. I'm about to say, yes, they, it feels like a, a dry down powder at some point, if that makes sense. It's kind of like these new formulas are matte, but a little bit more emollient, but not super, super matte. You know, I started with lipstick and, and MAC with Viva Glam and those those red mattes and I, that would be my everyday staple and those are really really dry but the new mattes I'm, we're finding is that they're like this kind of dry down powder formula with a little bit more slip and I think that's similar on track to what this Makeup by Mario matte lipsticks are. So the last one we're trying is Nikki. This one is Nikki. Okay, so those are it for the Makeup by Mario. So again, Cam, Lucia, and Nikki. And out of those three, I would say yeah, there's definitely a slip to it. I would have to say this is my favorite one. So I was looking for something a little bit like a more brownie nude. I think this is probably, um, Cam is my least favorite one. And I thought this would be my favorite one. So I bought all of these online. I didn't go into Sephora to try them. So I completely just went off of pictures. I do feel like this looks a little bit more warmer online in the photos. So I was hoping this would be more like a brown peachy color, but actually this one ended up being what I wanted from this one. So it's kind of like a little bit of a, you know, orangey, peachy color, which I don't think I have a color with this. I think the closest one that I can think of that might be a dupe is My Sisley, which I'm going to grab. One I'm thinking that might be a similar dupe is uh, the Sisley Beige Bali. Let me swatch it underneath. It's similar, but this is more pink and that's not a matte formula. It's like a satin. So it's in that similar color story. So I'm always looking for colors in this hue because of my, it's hard to match it with my skin tone because I'm a warm undertone. But I would say, yeah, I th think this is my favorite one. And then this one's a nice kind of like a pink, but this is probably my least favorite one. This would probably be better with someone with a more neutral undertone and someone with, with a fairer skin. Or maybe someone deeper, actually deeper neutral, but not like with mine. I like it. It's like, uh, it's like for for could you be either for spring or even daytime in the fall because of the orange undertone. But next up, we'll try the Givenchy lipsticks. And I had first discovered these through the holiday collection where I got the uh, two lipsticks and I got the Copper Nude, which was part of the, the holiday edition in this beautiful black velvet. And I have it, I do um, a try on with these in my Givenchy holiday review, which I'll link above here. So this is that Copper Nude and it's limited edition as part of that holiday collection. And then in the limited edition packa packaging, I got, I love this, look at this glitter. I got the Rouge Grain lipstick. So it's just like this beautiful red. I have a lot of red in my collection, but this was just next level. Look at that matte. It's a really beautiful red. So when I saw how these performed of being a matte, I really wanted to try 
two more colors. Uh, this is in 27 Rouge Infuse. Uh, <laughs> look at this packaging, it's so beautiful. It is red velvet. Okay, so it's like a lighter red pink. The second Givenchy lipstick I picked up is 35 Rouge Inite, I-N-I-T-I-E. So also in the red packaging. It's also a red, so I thought this was going to be more brown, but I think it's more of like a orangey brick red. So let's call it the lighter one, uh, Rouge, Rouge Infuse, and I'll do a swatch of that. So here's Rouge Infuse and Rouge Inite. So this is more of the brown, this is more of the pink. This is number 27, Rouge Infuse, this one right here. And then we're going to swatch Rouge Inite 35. It's more of the orange. Oh, this might be the one I'm looking for. So I'm looking for like more of an orange, but because I have some redness, sometimes I, can't, I don't want to go too orange. So I'll go with 27 Rouge Infuse, which is more of the pink color. Ooh, that's very pretty. I don't have a color like this in my collection. It's it's pink, but a little bit of orange in it. What do you think? So, I mean, it looks just like a red, but like a red with a little bit of pink in it. It's hard to tell. I'm losing light. And the thing about this Givenchy formula it's much more emollient. So compared to the Makeup by Mario, which are these three, these three are mattes and this is a matte too, but the way it wears, it just fills up all the lines I have. Whereas I was struggling a little bit with the Makeup by Mario where it was definitely feeling dry upon application. This is very emollient. In terms of smell, Makeup by Mario did not have a smell, but these Givenchy lipsticks have a little bit of a smell. And the only way I could describe it is that it smells like lipstick like you know how lipstick has like that lipstick smell that's what it is i don't think it's like added perfume at least i don't think so but there's something about these givenchy lipsticks that are just really really beautiful kind of like you know when you like a lipstick you're excited to wear it and then you don't want to take it off that's kind of how i feel about these givenchy lipsticks okay next up we'll try the 35 rouge inete from givenchy That's very orange. <laughs> uh, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, let me know what you think. I, I have a hard time finding orange colors that I like. If it gets too orange, it looks like pumpkin on my lips and I'm not really into it, but it's like the nice balance. It has to be a nice balance between the orange and like an orange brown or an orange pink. So I'm not sure. I think I could get away with this if I was wearing the right outfit like a top that was not beige so, so maybe uh, an orange colored sw uh, sweater or an orange shirt maybe brown or maybe a yellow sweater mustard yellow let me know what you think I'm not sure if I like this rouge inite these are the Chanel rouge allure lac colors this is number 62 still so I'll open that up. A nudie brown. Okay. And this is number, this is number 61 continuous. Okay. So it looks similar to this color up here. Okay, so right off the bat, since my lips have pigmentation already, it just looks like I just put lip gloss on. What do you think, guys? 
and then it doesn't really hide my pigmentation on the outer side which I don't like. I would, could wear a lip liner, but oftentimes and with mask, mascaring, is off, lipstick is actually the last thing I'm putting on, if at all, um, before or after a mask. So yeah, that's sad. So this was a bust for me because it's basically my skin color of my lips. I mean, it's pretty. I think someone with no pigmentation on their lips, it might be great, but it doesn't even cover up the pigmentation um, underneath. And then the last one is 61 Continuous. Hence this color here. I don't even think I did this with the other one because I didn't like it. <laughs> it just went on to the next. So 61 Continuous. I like it, but again, you can see that it's not really covering up any of that pigmentation underneath. I'd have to really build that up. Do you see that? And what I can tell from this formula is that they're not super pigmented. There, that's a little bit better. But, you know, I just... I can see some of the pigmentation peeking through. So this Chanel formula reminds me a lot of the Suku Lip Fogs and Glows. So let me do a little comparison. And these uh, Suku, I love these. I have a, quite a number of these and they just have really great colors that suit my skin tone. So that's definitely more orange, but that's gonna have more pigmentation and it actually covers what I have underneath. And that was, Suku 102, so that was probably a limited edition. And this is Suku 103. Right, so it's kind of been a similar story here. Nothing super pinky. Either way, this is definitely um, okay. I think it's like a pinky pink color. I don't think there's anything special about this. I wish I could find my beige confidential one. It just really beautiful color. I can tell which lipsticks I like right away and I have to say out of the Makeup by Mario the only one that I really really like is this one which is Nikki and I don't want to give up on this line yet. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually go to Sephora when they have the lipsticks out on the display and actually swatch them for myself because I know what colors are going to work for me. So these are a little bit like that's not in my wheelhouse. This is this is okay. I have other ones like this, but this is a unique color story for me. So I'll probably go to Sephora and pick up, see if there's any other colors that are unique. So definitely Nikki. This one was a winner for me for a makeup by Mario. I loved both of the two Givenchy lipsticks, which are these two right here. I have to say, I don't really like either of the Chanel lipsticks. The other thing about this formula too, it doesn't completely dry down and it feels a little bit weird. Like, I, once I find a unique color, I can deal with it, but these are not anything unique to me. So these were kind of a bust. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the swatching of lipsticks with me. And if you have any thoughts or suggestions, which ones you like the most, which ones you thought were the worst on me, that's fine too. Um, and let me know, have you tried the Makeup by Mario matte lipsticks or the Givenchy lipsticks or the Chanel uh, La Lurlac formula? I'm curious if you have, if what your experience with them are. But so far, like the for this year, my go-to um, excitement for lipsticks are the Givenchy. They've been a complete hit. In fact, I wanna end the video that way. So I wanted to end this video of lipstick swatches with the, my favorite one of this whole swatching video, which is the Rouge um, Infused 27 Givenchy, this one in this beautiful velvet packaging. So, so let me know what you think. And thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really appreciate your support. So if you are so compelled, please comment below, like, and subscribe. Would love to have you part of the beauty fam. And until the next video, please be yourself. Take good care of yourself. Take care of others. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.